So for supper this evening, I'm preparing a beautiful courgette baby potato and Dubliner cheese frittata with a gorgeous almond and fresh basil pesto. So for it, you need fresh basil, almonds, Parmesan cheese, extra virgin olive oil, baby potatoes or little new potatoes, garlic, beautiful Dubliner cheese, courgettes or zucchini, scallions or spring onions, um, some eggs and some lovely Kerrygold butter. So I'm going to whisk my eggs together. I've got six in total, some good quality organic eggs. Top and tail, the courgettes or the zucchini, and then grate them into the mixture. Next, I'm going to grate in the beautiful creamy Dubliner cheese. And this Dubliner cheese has got gorgeous creamy texture and the smell is lovely, kind of caramelly and nutty, which is beautiful in this frittata. Next, I'm going to slice up the scallions or the spring onions, whatever you call them. And in they go to the mixture with a sprinkle of sea salt and pepper. And I'm going to wait to give that a final big whisk and mix just before I pop it into the frying pan. But before I do that, I'm going to slice up my baby new potatoes and I'm going to fry them off with some beautiful Kerrygold Irish butter. So I'm getting the pan under a medium heat. I'm going to put in some beautiful Kerrygold Irish butter. I love this butter because it comes from cows that are outdoor reared and grass fed in Ireland. And then in go the baby potatoes sliced up. Give them a bit of a toss. So my baby potatoes are lovely and browned and golden from that beautiful Kerrygold butter. And then what I'm going to do is give this this final good mix. So before you put this in, just make sure that your potatoes are evenly kind of distributed throughout the pan. Getting in every single bit so there's no waste and let it cook for about two minutes or so under the heat so that you're actually cooking the base and then you pop it into the oven for about 10 minutes and then it's done. But while that is finishing off, I'm gonna make my almond and fresh basil pesto, which takes seconds to do. So into a blender or a food processor, pop in your almonds, followed by your extra virgin olive oil and two cloves of garlic. I always like to have a fresh basil plant. And when you're picking the basil, Always make sure that you pick from the top. See that little flourish at the top? Pick from the top and it'll keep growing up. And lastly, some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. It's a classic ingredient in every pesto. And then just pop the lid on and that's it. So with the pesto and the blending scenario, I don't like mine to be too smooth because I quite like having the texture and feeling and, and being able to taste all of the different elements of the pesto. So I like mine quite chunky, so I don't actually let it blend for too long. If you like it completely smooth, then just let it go on and on. So back over to my frittata. The base is now cooked, so I'm just going to pop that into the oven for between five and ten minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it. You, what you don't want is to overcook it because then you get a dryness. So I'm going to check it after about five minutes. When it's done, I'm going to pop it onto this plate and I'm going to drizzle all that beautiful basil and almond pesto on top of it, which is really going to freshen and alive it. The potato is ready. So you test it by just pressing the inside of it, because that will be the last place that it will actually cook. And you want it light and spongy, you don't want it too solid, you don't want it too runny. And pop it straight onto your serving dish. I mean, this couldn't be easier. And this is such a gorgeous, easy supper to make anytime. This is also beautiful to serve cold the next day, so if you have any left over, it's absolutely beautiful. Some people even put it in a sandwich, like a tortilla sandwich, which can be really gorgeous. Then drizzle this beautiful almond and basil pesto all over it. How gorgeous does this look? Especially in the sunshine. It smells so beautiful. So it's my courgette and baby potato and Dubliner cheese frittata with a beautiful almond and fresh basil pesto on top. It's so beautiful. It's the perfect, easy supper to cook up. You'll find the full recipe below. Go enjoy, hope you have a gorgeous supper.